Right, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of FIFA 19 Trammy Rovers career mode. Today we begin uh, by welcoming Leicester City to Prenton Park. Then a bit of a gap, Parcel away, trip to the Emirates is going to be a tough one guys. We'll send the international friendlies against Mexico and Denmark for Bournemouth come to Prenton Park to round off March. Then into April guys, day after April Fool's Day we travel to Stamford Bridge to take on Chelsea in a big, big tie. Looking at the league guys. We're so congested, it's outrageous how many teams like you could call in this potential title race. Look at this. You go down 10 to 11 points from first to 11 for this. Then as a, well, I suppose you could maybe even say um, 14 points down to Leicester. Are they in it? 13 points? Uh, maybe. We do play them this game, so we're all them out. Took if they beat us. Um, it's just so many teams right up there right now, guys, you know. A point clear of the full two clear of United, four clear of Everton, six clear of Manchester City. Uh, probably the imminent threat. Did have a real f issue with fatigue uh, last episode, guys. It shows already. I mean, we've had a weak gap and we still have some players who are slightly fatigued. That's how bad it got. Um, Fructal in particular, but they're going to stay in. Uh, Sandoval's a bit fatigued. They'll drop him out of the bench. From now on, it's like weak in between games, so it should be too bad. I probably should check this guy out. Actually, yeah, I brought up Costa. Right, he's low, medium, three star, three star. We got him involved the back in the last episode. Uh, look like he'll amount to too much, guys, but we'll keep him in there anyway for now. So, yeah, first team, guys, is back. Cannot wait to use them again. Time to take on the Foxes, get a much needed three points. Club Air, good ball. Zlatan. That's a decent right ball out to Moise. Oh, brilliant ball, in fact, from Zlatan, who laid it on the plate, really, for Moise Keane, who duly finishes that off with a nice little header. Give a side of the keeper, guys. Big start to this game. Enjoying using the first team, boys, again. What a ball. Left foot by Zlatan. And Moise Keane does the rest. Good shit, lads. Clever. Oh, what a ball to Zlatan. Oh, and he finishes well. Get in, lads. Show me a two less than nil. And oh, Rovers are back, boys. Last episode, last couple of games, we had uh, really ugly teams out. But man, now we have fitness back. We're getting these interceptions and we're closing down quickly. And uh, we're causing Leicester all sorts of problems, guys. They can't keep the ball for more than three passes. And um, when we do pick it up, they're high up the pitch often, and we do cancel the like of that. that Great right. little ball there the by Clever. Right what a pass. Yeah, a and Zlatan was the only player in the pitch, probably, who was quick enough to get there ahead of their keeper. Just Bangs one in for his eighth Premier Goal of the season. And more importantly for us, it's Rovers 2, Foxes 0. What the fuck? The How's this guy still got the. How's he still at the ball for one? And what a finish for two. Jesus Christ, boys. They do score some worldies on Legendary. They just have no chance with. And there's another one from Madison. Oh, James Madison reduces the arrears. I tackle him right here, though. Did he just do me? I felt like there was connection from Andres Iniesta on this ball. Does he get a foot in? Oh no, to be fair, I beg your pardon guys, he just completely does me, he just beats Iniesta to it, Iniesta's aging a bit and it showed there. James Madison sidesteps him and uh, it's just a wonderful finish. Quite a bit wonderful there. ball, last hand took it down now. well. Finds, finds Moise Keane, yes Moise, good turn and good finish and we restore the two goal lead, pretty sharpish boys, trying me a free Leicester one now, and it's great play, initial ball by Kleber Menezes, over the top of the defence, in behind Zlatan who caught inside, plays a nice little short pass into Moise Keane, who just twists here and finesses it into the Bottom left hand corner, Moise's 15th goal of the Premier League, he's on a hat-trick now, to Nali, to Archie, good ball Arch, Zlatan, oh, did well to get to that, good save Schmeichel, and uh, that will be that for the half guys, there we go, good half of football that for us, 3-1 up, and I'll take that all day guys, we've got to respond, return to winning ways after the uh, defeat by West Ham last Premier League, 
Uh, in truth, Premier League, if you're looking about the last seven, eight games, you're not really in a form for Burnley. Won a couple of them, so that's more like it. We have four shots today, one four in targets today, one. Fifty-five percent possession. They edge pass accuracy. We had the only corner of the game. Yeah. Aurelian to Moise. Moise keen towards Haaland and followed up by Ferry. Yeah, puts it just wide. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Moise, well, good ball. ball Aki, oh, what's the save, Schmeichel? Ail picks up, can't quite chip it in. Oh, we still got it. Oh, what a finish that is. Is that Slatton? Oh, my word, it was a sweet finish, boys. It is Latan. good shit. It, I didn't, when I said Ail picked it up before, he won't get on that, he did. And in the end, it's a nice header on as well by Aki. And a brilliant finish, Slatan on the turn, oh my god, he has to drag that right foot back. Smashes it through the arms of Schmeichel. The stats, guys, let's do a bit better second half, but we're still a better team overall. Eight shots today, three, seven and targets today, three. 50% of possession. And we have three corners today, one they had a better pass accuracy. Man, the match goes for Zlatan and gets a 9.6. Uh, Aki an 8.2, Moise gets a 9.4. And Kleber an 8.9. So goals, two for Zlatan, two for Keane. Assists, two for Zlatan, one for Aki and one for Kleber. Another training search, guys. Mason Groves, two is 63, gets a C and a D. C for Romano, B's for Morris and Menezes. Train again. A and an F for Mason, C for Romano, C for... Morris and a D for Menezes. So next game's Arsenal away guys, just had a couple of week breaks so we are fully fit for this one and hop straight into it. Trying to find an opening, not panicking. Now shot. Oh what a strike that is boys, fucking hell, good save from Fructal. This stage would be a wonderful Still on this. Zlatan, Moise, on again to Kleber Menezes who puts it in. Yes, boys, we finally do take the lead after um, pinning Arsenal back for all five minutes there. They couldn't really get rid. Good play into my scheme. Nice ball. Clever finishes. Butters ahead, guys. We haven't beat these in three games so far this season, Arsenal. We drew one cup game. They beat us in a replay. We drew the earlier league game. Oh, no. Well, there, Nampard. Gerrit, no. Oh, my God. What a fierce drive that was, though, in a deep bar. Uh, just can't keep clean sheets lately, guys. Well, and Arsenal do eventually put in. Mahmoud Dahoud puts it in. Really <coughs> it was a good play by this guy. I get the tackle, the and he still comes out of it. Got yeah, close to exactly getting the clearance. In the end, it falls to Dahoud, and uh, he does the rest. Fourth goal in the Premier League. He cries uh, for Arsenal. It is one of the Emirates. Good play, boys. Iniesta. Hit that, clever! Oh, just wide. Pretty unfortunate to be level going into that. I think we were the better team. Uh, according to this, it was tighter. I don't know. I feel like we did edge it, to be honest. Uh, we had four shots apiece, two on target apiece. They had 54% possession. We had the only corner of the game. They had the better pass accuracy. Keep playing this way, boys. Um, we can fashion chances out against them. We've seen that. Last episode, we... Forced Ben Leno into making 12 saves. Hold that. Play into Nali. Finish it, Sandro. Oh my god, this keeper's fucking insane, man. Ben Leno's good in real life, but he's not fucking like this. I actually think he's overrated in real life. He's a decent keeper, but he's fucking having worldy after worldy against me every time I play Arsenal, man. That's just pissing me off, though. Well cleared by Asano. It'll be another corner. Let's try for the in swinger, boys. It'll have to be Kleber then. Corner played in. Good corner. Yes, boys. Perfect corner. Put in by Ed Morris. Well in Kleber. It's that just the right amount of curve on it to, to tease them. And Ed Morris got centre back these days. Gets across. Just glancing header into the far corner. And we do retake the lead, boys. Get in. Oh, Moise, could be in. Moise, another good turn. Oh, we picked this up. We're really fortunate with the bounce there. Kind of thing that usually goes against us. Good ball. It is Ferrier. Fuck it out. Eventually, it's a wide. Yes, boys, get a big, big win there. We do win 2-1 in the end. 
and uh, finally he beat Arsenal, fourth time of asking this season. We had 11 shots today, 5, 5 on targets today, 3, they had 52% of the ball, uh, just dead to pass accuracy, we had 3 corners today, 1. Good shit boys, man the match, goals for Kleber Menezes, gets a 9.5. And uh, he's the only one who plays over an eight. Oh no, beg your pardon. Moist got eight point four. So goal for Clever and Ed assist for Moist and Clever. Training search. Clever goes from seventy-seven. Yes, lad, gets an A. Mason gets an A. And a D. Romano D. And Morris C. Next team's against Bournemouth, guys. As you can see, last hand still a bit fatigued after his international exploit. Uh, but it's pretty much perfect anyway because Sandoval was asking for a game. So his last hand is just going to drop out entirely. Uh, we're in the bench in his place, we'll put Yama. And aside from that, we are good to go against Bournemouth. They beat 3 2 earlier on the season at Dean Court, so let's get revenge on these as well, boys. Lads in midfield are going to be important. Both got a bit of. Shot off! Oh my God, what to say. Oh, just wide. I mean, I was a bit frustrated that it wouldn't let me change my player then, guys. Look at this. I mean, I got a touch then. It, for some reason, it's stuck on this player. And Padu gets a really unfortunate touch there. But obviously right there, once it's changed to Ed, it made me stick on Padu. He gets stuck behind this man. But great effort, good save. And thankfully for us to follow up only, it's a side netting. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Oh no, get rid of it boys, fuck's sake, Lost the Sheik puts it in the second attempt, and it's the Cherries who take the lead boys, with the cross, really dangerously, I couldn't get rid, good save from Fructo, but he was stuck on the deck, and in the end Ruben Lost the Sheik had the jump on and Padu, and puts it in, situations like that way we really do miss TK guys, Bournemouth have looked dangerous from the start though, and I've got to say deservedly take the lead here, pass on. Good play, Tonali, finish it, what's the save from Begovic? Oh my well, god, Archie couldn't find the uh, follow-up header as well. The uh, half time guys, it is Bournemouth who lead our Prenton Park here, and um, yeah, they were much the better team, man. It still doesn't matter the game at all, that half, they had 7 shots all one 6 and targets all one 52% of the ball, they had a better pass accuracy as well, the only thing we won was the only corner of the game. Got to do more. Ryan Yester, back to Arch. He's cut it back, look at that. Oh, oh just wide. Mm. Clever. Off and Moise. To Clever. Towards Arch. On to Moise Keane. Moise bangs it in. Get in, lads. Equaliser for Tramia. Uh, we have been slightly better this half. We're not creating too much. Guys, eventually, though, we do take that chance when it comes. And it was lovely play initially by Clever. Cut inside here, feeds it into Archie. First time ball from Arch. It's perfectly weighted into the path of Moe Skeen, whose first time finish again is absolutely perfect. 16th goal of the Premier League from Moe, one of his most important. We're back in this. No, no way, Ampadu is just caught cold. No. Oh, it's so unlucky, boys. Look at this. All came back to that play from Ampadu. Oh, fucking hell. Alright, it's probably the wrong angle. I'll find another one. So this guy passes straight to Ampadu. was already, at that point, controlling Ampadu and was prepared to turn right at start a clicking right at this point so that when he gets that he turns like that is tackled because he did not expect to pass straight to Mpadu then we we're in all sorts of trouble and the guy bangs it in man it's so unfortunate I'm gonna have to go all out of attack now saw the pass coming and got there first no Bournemouth could be in again no they're going to be why would they not let me control the man on the bottom of the pitch then are you fucking high Jesus Christ, Loftus Sheik puts it in. He's an right now, this guy in the bottom of the pitch, I could have maybe got across in time, I don't know. It wouldn't let me control him though, I was spamming a shit out of a change player. But Bournemouth for wrap it up there boys, it is 3-1 and that's us done. Can't say they didn't deserve it guys, particularly for that first half performance. Second half we were much better, um, probably didn't match them but overall they were the better team. They had 11 shots off 3, 8 in targets to 2, 56% off the ball. 
Um, the battery of the pass accuracy, and we had the only corner of the game. Our man of the match was Moise Keane, gets an 8.2 for his goal. Uh, the assist, of course, one for Archie. Man of the match for the match was Ruben Loftus Cheek, he gets himself a couple and a 9.1 rating. So Bournemouth did a double over us. One of my old career mode teams have uh, really dealt damage to us here. I think we're off the top now, boys. So new month begins, guys. We are now in March, and uh, as a result, we have our squad hub update. Just looking down here, uh, TK still got nothing rating, I think. Uh, let's see when he's actually back, guys, because we fucking do need him. Two months, Jesus man. Well, exciting prospect. Uh, two months, so he can't come back quick enough, guys. I mean, I was saying about what's missing here. Look at this. We had seven clean sheets in 16 games. Well, actually, how many of these were in the Premier League? Well, six and 14 in the Premier League. Clean sheets. That is actually sensational. That's even better than a force it was. Uh, what's a good comparison? Oh my God! Look at this. Right. In 30 games, I've explained he's had nine clean sheets, so he literally had three more in 16 games without TK. We had six and 14 games with TK. Well, that's even more weighted than the four. If ever there's more of an indication that we miss this guy so much, our captain, it is that. Jesus Christ, man. TK, the man, the myth, the legend. We need him back ASAP. Games have a bit more of a gap. That game against Bournemouth was Tuesday. This one is the Saturday. From now on, we have a week gap to all of them, <coughs> except the uh, six day gap from Newcastle to Liverpool. So it should be a bit better, but going into this game, guys, we are going to be fatigued. And while this team just shows it, guys, look at this. Uh, we've got out. It's a bit of a mix of um, first team and second team, pretty much. Uh, we really are towing the line here a bit with this team against Chelsea. It's going to be really tough. We have Zlatan, Moise, although Moise is so fatigued, he'll probably have to come off uh, at half time. Chong, Yama, Aki, Ferrier. Uh, Eminem at left back. He has a five star weak foot, which allows him to play there in place of Alexander. Morris and Gilas at centre back. Trippier at right back. Fruckle in there. Our bench is, uh, as I say, it's quite fatigued. And Padu, Marlowengo, Jimmy, uh, De Silva can come out there. Uh, he's, he's always on a bench and he changes that. Uh, Rossi, Gallo, and Haaland make up the bench. We'll also put Romano on there. Aki. Danger to the opposition now they're here. Aki gets it back. Gives to Zlatan, oh looking inside for danger, Moyes, header on by Yama, Aki to Ferrier, oh and to Chong, Chong he finish it, what a save from Kepa. Uh, let's go for an in-swing at this time guys, Kieran Trippi will take. Trippier's ball is a good one, towards the head, oh just heads it wide. Good play boys, Moyes, Moyes Kane comes in, in. get it in Moyes, what a big goal that could be lads, we do take the lead at the bridge, we have been a better team I think, ball creating a great deal, uh, we have tested their keeper on a couple of occasions and um, that is just a sublime finish, fed inside, Moyes takes one touch, opens up half a yard then finesses it into the left hand side of the keeper's net, oh it's just a life old boys. Moise Keane, the and man to go to, scoring. has nil given game. us the lead. It's Chelsea nil, Tramia over his one. So, our time, guys. Our Good time. half for us that we limited Chelsea to very little there. Um, we do lead our half time 1 0. Uh, look at the facts that will back this up. But really, I don't remember our keeper making a save, guys. I'll be honest with you. Going to this, we had four shots apiece, there, three in target apiece. Uh, they had 55% of the ball, about the pass actually, and we had the only corners of the game, two to then none. Keep that up, guys, and uh, I'll be very happy. I feel like we were relatively comfortable the there. So we must remain twitched on, Chelsea are a quality the outfit, and they can punish us, particularly if they do passes like that. To the Werner, Kante. Get rid of it! Fucking hell. Fructal, delayed on it. Hell in, boys. Ferrier. Oh, delightful ball from Ferrier to Gaio. The Chelsea man has it. Could be failed, Gaio. Oh, and it just bounces away from Erling. Good ball to Ferrier. Haaland. Moise. Moise Keane finishes. Get in, boys. It's 2-0. And we deserve it, lads. We've been a better team this half as well. 
If anything, played even better this half. Oh my god, boys, it was great football. Ferrier onto Erling, nice little ball into Moise Keane. He hit it on the turn. I considered taking him off, but I thought 1 0, I can't take Moise off. And that's why, boys, we get a chance and he just snuffs it away, as usual. Chelsea nil, Tramia 2. A ball. Gaia. Oh, it was a good header. We picked this up with Slaton. Turns his man. Erling. Ferrier. Yes, boys, it's free. We beat Chelsea 3 0 at Brenton Park. We've got the same scoreline here at the bridge. This is a sensational performance, guys. Out of nothing, really. We haven't been playing particularly well. And uh, since the turn of the new year, I feel we've uh, we've done much worse in the league in terms of point return. But this is the tram here of autumn and winter coming out here, boys. Absolutely ruthless performance. Put Chelsea to the sword here, and that should wrap up the points. Three 0 Rossi looking for Guy. Oh, not cleared convincingly, and wow, it's Guy by Moyes. Chance for his hat trick. Should really have put that in. One of the biggest tests remain in the season for us here uh, on paper and we, we passed up flying colours there boys 11 shots there 5, 7 targets there 4 we tied possession they had the better to pass accuracy we had the only corners of the game and the match goes for Aurelien Ferrier who just edges it ahead of uh, Erling who came off the bench played 9.5 and Moist who played a 9.5 yeah Erling was sensational and calm worth noting that he just held up everything and uh, it was a real nice pivot between Ferrier and Keane uh, Aki elsewhere gets a 9.1. Eminem got an 8.7. We're singing his praises all game, guys. First time he's ever played a left back for us. He was sensational. Uh, his last time got an 8.2. Trippier and Morris 8.3. Some Procto an 8. So goals 2 for Keane, 1 for Ferrier. Assists 2 for Haaland and 1 for Aki. So I don't really get this, guys. I mean, it's, it's presumably our little Beal. I did get a message saying George Harrison wants out. And uh, unfortunately, guys, despite how epic his name was, he just didn't really amount to too much so I didn't renew it then we're getting this message but it doesn't actually specify which player has been lured away so I'm hoping it is Harrison let's have a look it wasn't Harrison guys he's still here so what the fuck who's missing Romano is the big one Mason's a big one Lombardi could be decent as well uh, so I don't think anyone epic only that that I remember, but um, a <laughs> bit confused there. So who actually left? So going into next episode, guys, we had a good, favourable results elsewhere. We do retake top spot. Manchester United must have lost. Uh, who beat the? Excuse me. Who beat United? Newcastle did beat them two one. Get in Newcastle. Uh, elsewhere, Liverpool also lost. They got beat by Manchester City, 1-0 at home. Everton beat Spurs away. So Everton climbs to third, uh, tied on points with Liverpool. Uh, take United out, guys. Amazing side, 1-2-3, which is fucking insane. Uh, we lead United by two points, Liverpool and Everton by five points. City by nine points, with just seven games left. Is it time to start ruling them teams out? I'm not going to go that far yet, but certainly United, Everton, Liverpool are the ones to uh, to watch out for. It's a Northwest top five it is. That's fucking madness. Uh, as far as goal difference goes, we are tied with Manchester United right now. We are five clear of Everton. Uh, we're eight clear of Liverpool. So yeah, it's pretty much worth an extra point in Everton, Liverpool. Man United though. Uh, do need to keep an eye on them guys. All it takes is us to draw one game and then to win one game. They will go top. So, all to play for, but for sure that was a big game to get out. Next episode then guys, we are at home against Brentford, then uh, Notts Forest, oh they all, well three home games in a row, Brentford, Forest and Burnley all come to Brenton Park, then we round off the month with a trip to the St Mary's to take on Southampton. Oh man, it's getting squeaky bum time now guys, look at these fixtures, they do tend to be favourable but... Uh, you can't always really say that. I tend to drop team points against uh, teams lower down the table. But we'll see you guys next month. Next episode is going to be crucial. Uh, the league could be won or lost.